President Obama calls it Congressman Paul Ryan's budget plan, a prescription for decline. The president taking this Wisconsin primary election day to say this. This congressional Republican budget is something different altogether. It is a Trojan horse. Disguised as deficit reduction plans, it is really an attempt to impose a radical vision on our country. It is thinly veiled social Dar Darwinism. Senator Ron Johnson is on the Senate Budget Committee. He joins us from Wisconsin, where he's the U.S. Senate. And I should add that uh, they're closing up at the Romney uh, event behind him. So, um, Senator, tell me, you're on the Budget Committee. Um, you're a Democrat, uh, you're a Republican, rather, and it's, it, uh, Democrats have the majority in the Senate. Explain to me what you know about when the Senate is going to have a vote on a budget. I'm not aware that we're going to have one. Greta, and, and let, let's face it, you know, President Obama is criticizing the House budget, but at, it actually got some votes in favor of it. You know, last year, President Obama's 2012 budget lost 0 to 97 in the Senate, and last week, of course, his current budget lost 0 to 414 in the House. That is a stunning repudiation of his leadership. It really shows just an abdication of leadership when we're facing the, the type of financial crisis, and he, he simply refuses to put forward a serious enough budget that even not even one member of his party would vote all right, well, for. Well, let me. That's all amazing. Right, okay. Let me do the same. I'm essentially like, I don't want to get down the weeds with you, and I didn't want to do that with uh, Representative okay. Wasserman Schultz either. I'm trying to figure out when we can at least move this process forward. Not saying who's winning, who's not winning, who's good, who's sure. bad, who's got the better budget, who's got the rotten budget. But we've got to get a budget out of the Senate in order to move this forward. And I'm curious, has Senator Harry Reid given any indication, or the Chairman of the Budget Committee no. giving any indication that there will be a budget so that we can then engage it with the House and try to resolve this? No, I mean, Senator Harry Reid's been on the record saying he sees no need to pass a budget, to even bring one to the floor. And Ken Conrad initially, to his credit, said he wanted to mark up a budget, but he's been, he's been backtracking from that as well. It's very disappointing. So, you know, bottom line is they're going to they're gonna re basically rely on those uh, caps that were put in by the Budget Control Act, which, I mean, that's not even close to a budget. And they will try and, I'm sure, block any attempt Republicans make toward bringing up the House budget or bringing up some alternatives, from example, uh, you know, from, from like Pat Toomey. So they're going to try and just obstruct because the bottom line, Greta, they do not want to show the American public that, first of all, they have no plan. And basically, their only plan is to increase taxes on the American people. Well, I, I mean, I, I, the president's got a proposal, so the president has some plan. I mean, but I mean, that, that's really sort of you know the real problem is is that is that Senator Harry Reid has made a decision to essentially stop the budget process by not letting a vote come to the floor. As a consequence, the United right. States can't get its money, can't get its finances in order, and we continue down the road paying a huge giant debt. We've got people unemployed, unemployed, and we can't even do the fundamentals to try to put this back together with a budget. I'm not saying that Congressman Ryan's budget is the end all at all but I do know when the process is is deliberately stopped well Greta you just made the case why it's so important that Republicans take over the Senate and why we elect Mitt Romney to be president so that we can actually move forward in a serious fashion to start addressing the, the very serious fiscal situation we have in this country it's not going to happen it's not going to happen under President Obama he's had four cracks at the apple here I mean, he has yet to put forward a plan to save Social Security. He has no plan to, to save Medicare. His Obamacare plan will further bankrupt this nation. It's, it's grotesquely underestimated from a standpoint of the cost of that, of that piece of legislation. So, again, you just made the case. We need the Republicans to take over the Senate, and we need a Republican president. Or we need Senator Harry Reid to take responsibility. He's got the job as Senate Majority Leader. That's why he was elected by his colleagues and every single right. member of the U.S. Senate to, to tell him, get a budget and do it now for the benefit of the rest of us and, and, uh, and right. move this process forward. Senator, I'm going to take the last word on that Greta, one. Greta, um, we need leadership. We need leadership. Senator, thank you. Uh, enjoy uh, Wisconsin. Thanks, sir. Thanks for having me on. Coming up, really